The global race to develop general purpose robots is in full swing, with different companies focusing on distinct aspects of the technology stack. Among these pioneers stands out Neuro Robotics GmbH, a German company based in Metzingen that has been dedicated to developing what it calls cognitive robotics. Its portfolio ranges from collaborative robotic arms and mobile service robots to an ambitious humanoid robot project. Neuro's competitive edge lies in the synergistic integration of advanced sensors, proprietary artificial intelligence, and various technological components into a unified platform, forming the basis for developing applications together with its strategic partners. Want to understand everything? Then watch the video until the end and I'll explain it to you. But first, leave your like and subscribe to the channel. This way you'll stay informed about the latest developments in artificial intelligence. Recently, the company strengthened its executive team by hiring Dr. Oliver Wolst as Chief Technology Officer. With extensive experience in Bosch's automotive electronics sector, Wolst replaces Jens Fabrowski, who assumed the position of Chief Operations Officer. According to Wolst, cognitive robotics is the most exciting technological field of our time, highlighting its immense potential to revolutionize our lives. This strategic move demonstrates the company's commitment to strengthening its technological leadership in an increasingly competitive market. In January, Neuro Robotics reached an important financial milestone by raising $123,300,000 in a Series B funding round. What stands out in this process is that, according to David Rager, founder and CEO of the company, investors approached Neuro on their own initiative without the company actively seeking capital. This investment round was completed in less than one month, establishing a record for the company. Rager explains that, although they were already in talks with some investors, Neuro did not urgently need additional capital. At the end of November, the company received an attractive proposal with a limited time frame, with investors expressing interest in concluding the deal before Christmas. Neuro pioneered the concept of cognitive robots in 2019, establishing itself ahead of the market long before the current wave of interest in what we now popularly call AI robots. This early vision demonstrates how the German company not only kept pace, but effectively predicted and helped shape the direction that the robotics industry would take in the following years. According to Rager, the reluctance of other players to adopt the term cognitive robots is due to the fact that searches for this expression on Google predominantly direct to Neura. The differential of the German company is that while many competitors are still working on projects and forecasts, Neura has already implemented advanced technologies and commercial products. Its cognitive robotic arms have vision and touch capabilities, transmitting precise and timestamped data that serve as the basis for creating robust artificial intelligence models based on real information. Neuro Robotics is in full expansion phase, surpassing the mark of 300 collaborators and investing significantly in building its own robot manufacturing. An important differential of the company is its ability to internally produce most of the components used in its products, ensuring greater control over the supply chain and final quality. In parallel, the company is launching the Neuroverse platform, an initiative that will require hiring new talent for its implementation and continuous development. With ambitions that transcend simple participation in the humanoid robotics sector, Neuro seeks to assume a position of global leadership in this emerging market. To realize this vision, the company is establishing strategic presence in the United States with hiring and technological hubs such as Detroit, Boston, and Silicon Valley. This expansion is motivated not only by the search for talent, but also by the need for proximity to strategic partners concentrated in these regions. The collaborative approach is central to Neuro Robotics strategy, which has already established partnerships with renowned companies such as Kawasaki, Omron, and Delta Electronics. Additionally, the company maintains collaborations with automotive groups that, according to Rager, prefer to maintain discretion about these relationships at the current moment. Neuro fundamentally positions itself as an enablement company, building teams dedicated to supporting its partners, not competing with them directly. This philosophy of collaboration, rather than competition, has been an important differential for the company's penetration in various markets. In the field of humanoid robot development, Rager observes the proliferation of similar initiatives globally, considering this diversity of approaches positive for the collective improvement of technology. 
He believes that, eventually, humanoid designs will converge to a common format, leveraging the lessons learned from various implementations. Neura applies the knowledge obtained from its robots, endowed with cognitive capabilities to advance the development of more sophisticated humanoid solutions. One of the main technical challenges identified by Rager is the need to close the sensory integration cycle to reduce the gap between simulation and reality. The company is actively developing a third generation of its humanoid platform, which will feature expanded sensory capabilities and greater motive power in the legs to improve locomotion efficiency. This new model will be presented during the Automatic Affair in Munich, Germany. In addition to the humanoid project, Neura is working on the third generation of the MIPA service robot, also known as the domestic robot. This platform is essentially a mobile manipulator equipped with two arms, representing a pragmatic approach to approximating human capabilities without facing the stability challenges inherent to bipedal robots. Raygear emphasizes that the company's focus is not on spectacular demonstrations like backflips, but rather on developing practical capabilities such as assembly, gluing, and performing everyday household tasks like loading dishwashers. Currently, Neuro Robotics's commercial portfolio comprises three main products, Lara, Myra, and May V. Each of these products serves different market segments with distinct levels of demand. Regarding quality and precision, the Lara robot has found greater receptivity, especially in applications that demand high standards of execution. On the other hand, Mera has shown significant growth in terms of sales volume, a trend that Rager believes will continue, mainly due to its native cognitive capabilities, unlike Lara, which requires additional adaptations. Automation specialists recognize that humanoid robots still have a considerable way to go before reaching full commercial maturity. For this reason, many are opting for intermediate solutions such as mobile manipulators. Regeer highlights, however, that mobile manipulation only becomes truly efficient when combined with cognitive robotics. Without this integration, the precision limitation, approximately 5 mm, would require detailed programming for each task, eliminating much of the advantages of flexible automation. Companies such as Mobile Industrial Robots and Universal Robots have achieved success by integrating visual capabilities into their systems, essentially making them cognitive. Rager foresees a continuous expansion of this segment as the integration between vision systems and mobile platforms deepens, enabling more sophisticated and adaptable applications. Neuro Robotics market strategy balances specialization and generalization in an innovative way. The company focuses on technological specialization in robotics, while its partners contribute with deep knowledge of specific markets. Currently, the main use cases are found in the industrial sectors, automotive and aerospace, and, more recently, in retail. Raygear observes that, despite the difficulties faced by the automotive sector, other markets are on the rise, compensating for possible setbacks in that traditional segment. An important reference for the sector's growth potential is China's ambitious plan to implement more than 40 million robots by 2030, which would require an annual production of approximately 8 million units. This scenario represents simultaneously a challenge and an opportunity for Western companies like Neura, which seeks to maintain its competitive advantage while the rest of the world accelerates its automation efforts. In a countercurrent move, Neura Robotics decided to transfer its production from China to Germany. This strategic decision aligns with Rager's vision about the potential of cognitive robotics to revitalize the competitiveness of German industry, particularly in the automotive sector. This perspective gained special relevance after the VDMA Robotics Plus Automation Association expressed concerns about the loss of competitiveness of the German robotics industry in the global scenario. Rager firmly believes that robotics can and should become a fundamental economic pillar for Germany and Europe. He critically observes that European countries frequently prioritize regulation to the detriment of innovation, but maintains optimism regarding the potential for change in this approach. David Rager's vision regarding Germany's role in the future of robotics is both a criticism and a call to action. He observes that the country, historically a leader in various industrial sectors, has settled into its privileged position, neglecting the need for continuous innovation. For Rager, there is a clear urgency for Germany to develop new technologies capable of sustaining its economy in the long term, and robotics presents itself as a natural candidate to assume this structuring role. 
The recognition of the strategic importance of robotics is beginning to gain traction at the German state level, with development plans established for the horizons of 2030 and 2035. This change in perspective is a source of pride for Reger and his team, signaling a possible transformation in the German governmental approach to technological innovation. The concept of cognitive robotics advocated by Neura represents more than a simple technical evolution. It constitutes a paradigm shift in how we conceive the interaction between machines and environment. Unlike traditional automation, which operates under rigidly controlled conditions and with predefined programming, cognitive robots possess sensory capabilities that allow them to adapt to variable circumstances. This adaptability is crucial for applications in unstructured environments, such as residences, hospitals, or workplaces shared with humans. Neura's bet on vertical integration, producing most components internally, contrasts with the predominant trend of outsourcing in the global technology industry. This approach, although initially more costly and complex, provides significant advantages in quality control and intellectual property protection. Additionally, production located in Germany aligns with growing concerns about supply chain security and technological sovereignty that have gained relevance in the European debate. The Neuraverse platform, mentioned by Rager, suggests an ambitious vision that transcends individual products, pointing to an integrated ecosystem of robotic solutions. This concept refers to the idea of interoperability and distributed intelligence, where different robots and systems share information and capabilities, enhancing their collective functionalities. The successful implementation of this vision could position Neura not only as a hardware manufacturer, but as an architect of a fundamental infrastructure for 21st century automation. The challenge of scaling hardware production while maintaining high quality standards, identified by Rager as the next major obstacle for the company, is emblematic of the difficulties faced by innovators in the field of physical robotics. While purely digital products can be infinitely copied at almost zero cost, manufacturing sophisticated robots represents a completely different challenge. The production of these complex physical systems demands enormous financial contributions in assembly lines, rigorous quality verification processes, and an intricate logistics network to manage components and distribution. Neuro's experience in the scaling process could offer valuable lessons for the European advanced hardware ecosystem. What do you think about the future of cognitive robotics? Do you believe that robots like those developed by Neuro Robotics can really transform industrial sectors and domestic services in the coming years? Does the transfer of production from China to Germany represent a trend that other technology companies should follow? How do you imagine living with cognitive robots in your workplace or at home? And regarding technological leadership, do you think Europe has the conditions to compete with powers such as the United States and China in this strategic sector? Share your thoughts in the comments. If you liked the video, leave your like and subscribe to the channel. This way you will always receive notifications of new videos. Until next time.